Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to 30 Ways in 30 Days. Today, inshaAllah, we will be talking about a way of ilm, knowledge, to get to Jannah. The Prophet said, Man salaka tariqan yaltamisu fihi ilman saharallahu bihi tariqan ila jannah. Whoever takes a path in which he is seeking knowledge, Allah will make a path to Jannah, paradise, easy for him. So seeking knowledge is a direct way to Jannah, insha'Allah. That's why we ask Allah every single day, Ihdina sirat al mustaqim Guide us along the straight path. Give us the proper knowledge to navigate this life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ Know that there is nobody worthy of worship of, than Allah and seek forgiveness of your sins. So the scholars, they say that knowledge precedes action. Because if you don't know, how can you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correctly? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He also says, شَهِدَ اللَّهُ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ وَلُوا الْعِلْمِ قَائِمًا بِالْقِصْطِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He bears witness to His oneness and the angels and those who have knowledge all standing in justice. So bearing witness, there is a direct relation to having knowledge. In the court of law, if you go to bear a testimony or give testimony and you have no knowledge of the incident that occurred, that will be considered false testimony or shahadat al-zur as the Prophet ﷺ said. Likewise in the deen, if you say Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah I bear witness there is nobody worthy of worship except Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah but you know nothing about Allah and you know nothing about the messenger how can you be bearing a, a correct witness or a correct testimony? Knowledge is the way to make your testimony correct and the Prophet in fact he said that whoever bears witness knowing that there's nobody worthy of worship except Allah will enter into Jannah. So knowledge is a key component of our deen. The first ayah that was revealed to the Prophet Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq Recite in the name of your Lord that created is based upon knowledge. We are an ummah of Iqra. We should be an ummah of recitation, of, re of reading, of learning, of understanding. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the people were close to learning and understanding his book and the sunnah of the Prophet Allah lifted the ummah up in great honor and respect and gave them uh, power over all. However, when the ummah neglected the deen and became ignorant of the deen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put them back into disgrace. So knowledge is a key to being lifted up. Seeking knowledge, there are so many ahadith and ayat to show the blessings of it. Um, from them, the angels will come down and cover you with their wings. They will lower their wings in humility for you as you tread the path of knowledge. From it is the angels will make dua for you for the seeker of knowledge. From it, the ants in the ground and the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky will all make dua for the seeker of knowledge. Um, knowledge will lift you up in rank. There are so many stories of people that came from humble backgrounds, but they sought knowledge and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them honor in this dunya and inshallah in the akhirah. From these is a story of uh, Yaqub, a young orphan child. His father had passed away and he was an apprentice to a tailor. His mother would send him to this tailor to learn and get a stipend for their basic necessities. Um, one day he saw a circle of knowledge with the scholar Abu Hanifa. And he thought, this is, you know, something interesting, let me listen. So he sat and he became enthralled with this scholar. And he started to miss his apprenticeship, he started to miss his work. Um, so much so that the tailor came to the mother complaining or asking, you know, if he was sick or ill. And she said no. And he said, well, he has been missing his work. So she followed him one day to find out what he was doing. And she found that he's been sitting in the circles of knowledge. And she complained to Abu Hanifa to tell my son to go to the tailor so he can learn his apprenticeship so we can have a stipend to live upon. And Abu Hanifa said, whatever he is giving him or giving you, I will give double. Just let him stay in this circle because I see him to be of those of intellect, of high intelligence. And maybe one day he will eat from the fustuq. The fustuq is like a pistachio dish that only the elite of the society would eat from. Um, you know, like the princes or the khalifa or the rich. So. She let it pass, she agreed, and he sat and he studied and he became one of Abu Hanifa's most uh, knowledgeable pupils. And then after he became the head judge of the whole Muslim Ummah, he's better known as Al-Qadi Abu Yusuf under the uh, Khalifa of Harun al-Rashid. He would be an advisor to him and he was the head judge of the whole Muslim Ummah. This is from seeking knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَرْفَعَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمِ دَرَجَاتِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will lift and ranks those who believe amongst you and those who have knowledge into high levels. So knowledge is a way to success not only in the dunya but in the akhirah. And of course the most basic thing is better, هَلْ يَسْتَوِي الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Are those who know equal to those who, who do not know? 
No, of course not. It is always better to be knowledgeable than it is to be ignorant, especially about our religion, so that we can, inshallah, worship Allah correctly. So we can, if we claim to follow the Prophet Sallallahu know who the Prophet is and follow his sunnah. So we can teach others and call others to this beautiful religion. How can you call people to religion that you don't understand, that you don't know anything about? How can you claim to be a real Muslim if you don't know anything about it? So inshallah, from now on, make it your intention, your niyyah, your desire to become more knowledgeable in our religion so that we can get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that we can lift the ignorance from ourselves and worship Him as He should be worshipped, so that we can teach the society beneficial things. Until next time, Jazakumullah khairan, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.